Now we come to the next style of art and that is Mughal style of art. So we first we will have a look at the painting of Mughal style of art. It's vertical, right? Other all paintings were mostly horizontal. Well, this is in the portrait mode, not in the landscape mode, vertical painting. Fine. In 1526, Mughal Emperor Babur laid the foundation stone of the Mughal Empire rule in India. Mughal kings were all art lovers. For this reason, the art flourished during the period of Mughal. Now, one thing to be noted is, Babur laid the foundation stone of Mughal Empire. He didn't start Mughal art. Remember that thing, this question could be asked in the MCQ, that is, who is considered to be the father of Mughal art. Then Babur's name will not come there. He just came to India. Okay, he had not got time to spend behind art. Now later on, Mughal art developed during the tenure of Akbar and therefore Akbar is known as the father of Mughal art. Mughal emperors had brought along with them Irani artists. Now see, they had come from Iran side and they all were art lovers. So when they came to India, they had brought their culture, their artists, so many things along with them. The art which developed with the combination of Irani artists and Indian artists came to be known as Mughal art. You have to remember this thing. They had brought along with them Irani art. But since Akbar was, means Akbar believed in secularism, Sarva Dharma, Sadbhavna. So he gave chance to Indian artists also to work in his court. And so what happened? that the rich elements of Indian art and Irani art combined with each other and a new type of art was formed. And that is why it was formed in the tenure of Akbar and that is why Akbar is known as the father of Mughal art. The period of Mughal art is 16th to 17th century. Rajput's art was folk art while Mughal art is Darbari Kala or court art. After Mughals came in India, art got more importance. The artists, the different Mughal rulers gave importance to different art. Akbar was an art lover. In Akbar's period, a large number of miniature paintings were done. Now see, there were so many Mughal kings. We have to remember in whose period which thing was done. Okay, the maximum number of paintings were made during the period of Akbar. Now came the period of Jahangir. Art reached to its climax during the reign of Jahangir. Now see, Akbar had to settle in India properly. Right, he had to do so many things. And along with that, he developed art. But now Jahangir had to just come and sit on the throne. So he had got much more time than Akbar. So in his period, the art led to its climax. In the period of Jangir, mainly the paintings of portraits, animals and birds were done. Thus, Jangir's period is considered to be the golden period. This you have to remember whose period is considered to be the golden period. Now, the famous artist, that is the artist named Mansur, was very famous artist of his court. He was famous for making the paintings of birds and animals. Besides, there was a famous portrait artist in his court. His name was Besandas. Then came the ruling period of Sarja. Now Sarja was fed up of painting, painting and painting. He was more interested in architecture. The Taj Mahal, which is counted among the seven wonders of the world, was built during his period. Mughal art now came the period of his son, that is Aurangzeb. Mughal art came to an end in the period of Aurangzeb. Aurangzeb was not at all interested in any type of art. And that is why all the type of art stopped during his period. Aurangzeb did not appreciate art. And as a result, the artist had to leave the Mughal state and had to go elsewhere and settled down somewhere else. Many of them went to Himalayan ranges and nearby areas. 
in the paintings of mogul art we can see royal glamour royal pomp and luxury paintings are made more attractive with the artistic sense of coloring a beautiful decorative border was made around the painting transparency in colors is the unique attraction of the paintings of mogul art style the scenes of court palaces hunting scenes elephant fights war scenes and portraits the tents of the army sceneries animals and birds were the main topic of the painting of mogul art so here we complete mogul art also now the last type of art that is shaili art shaili chitrakala shaili is kangda shaili now as we saw just now that the mogul art came to an end in the period of aurangzeb and the artists had to leave the mogul court and they went to the near by areas so some of the artists went to satluj in the himalayan valley and started staying there now here the rajput artists were prevailing from years ago here rajput kings were ruling and they had already got their rajput artists with them so by the arrival of mogul artists there was a combination of rajput art see here in the textbook it's given rajasthani art but that's wrong it's only rajput art with the combination of rajput art and mogul art the art style which was formed is known as kangra shaili kangla shaili is the combination of mogul art plus rajput art the main theme of the paintings of kangra art style were krishna bhakti here the kings were also krishna bhakta so the theme of the painting was krishna bhakti we can see the repetition of the topics of rajasthani style over here the paintings with the beautiful hilly region and the foggy atmosphere gives calmness to the eyes the delicate and rhythmic line drawing of the paintings resembles to that of the ajanta art on behalf of which the characters look beautiful and has graceful face molaram is the famous artist of this style of art because of thin line the faces looks more delicate and attractive which can be counted as the unique attraction of this art style here the ladies characters are described in the poetic and expressive manner delicate figure pointed nose round face with a slope in the forehead are the unique attraction of the paintings of this style of art the male are described with the relation to the episodes from the life of krishna besides the hilly region of kashmir has been painted in most of the paintings or pictures of kangra art style as the art style was developed in the kangra region it's known as kangra art style here we complete unit 2